Hi, now here's an integral that you might like to try. What we've got to do in this part is find the integral of x to the power half multiplied by the natural log of 2x integrated with respect to x. So if you'd like to give this a try, as I say, just pause the video, come back when ready and you can check your work solution with mine. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So let's see if how you got on, OK? Now, first of all, what I'd like to do is just copy down this integral. We've got then the integral of x to the power half multiplied by the natural log of 2x, and we're integrating this with respect to x. So to do something like this, what I notice is that we have got two functions of x. We've got x to the power half multiplied by the natural log of 2x. And when you've got two functions of x being multiplied together that you cannot really expand, then this type of integral tends to be integration by parts. Integration by parts, you should be familiar with this particular formula, which is usually in most formula books. But it's worthwhile learning it. It's If you've got, say, u and dv by dx are two functions of x, and we're integrating them with respect to x, then it can be shown that this is equal to uv minus the integral of v times du dx integrated all with respect to x. Now when you're doing integration by parts where you have a natural log in, what we do is we always make this part, the log part, the u part, okay? And this part then is, in this example, the dv by dx part. So with that, we should be able to just proceed through this integral using the formula. So first of all, it's going to be equal to u multiplied by v. So u is the natural log of 2x. So just put that down. Always put these things in brackets, OK, so you don't write ambiguous statements. And then we've got to multiply it by v. And now v is the integral of dv by dx. So if I integrate x to the power half, then in the usual way, add 1 to the power. So that's x to the power 1 and a half, or 3 over 2. And then divide by 3 over 2. So the 3 goes there, and the 2 ends up there. And we'll put that in brackets as well. So we've got u times v. Then it's minus the integral of v. v is this part, OK? So we just copy that in, 2 thirds x to the power 3 over 2. And we multiply this by du by dx. So we need to differentiate the natural log of 2x. And we do this by the chain rule. So I'm assuming you're familiar with the chain rule, OK? So it's going to be 1 over 2x. And then you multiply it by the differential of the 2x, which is 2. So we've got that. We'll put that in brackets, OK? So we've got v then times du dx. And then we integrate all of this with respect to x. Let's put the equals here, and we just need to clean each of these parts up. So for the first part, let's put the 2 thirds x to the power 3 over 2 out the front here. OK, that would look better. And then follow it with the natural log of 2x. And I don't need brackets anymore for that statement. For this one, let's just clean it up by, say, cancelling that 2 with that 2 there. And we can cancel the x into x to the power 3 over 2. That's going to go 1 half there if we subtract the powers. I'm just going to write that back in, though, as minus 2 thirds. Pull the constant out the front of the integral. And then that just leaves me with x to the power half to integrate with respect to x. So again, we just write the first term in. We've got 2 thirds x to the power 3 over 2 multiplied by the natural log of 2x. 
And when it comes to integrating this, we've got minus two thirds at the front here. And for x to the power half, again, just add one to the power. So that's x to the power three over two and divide by that new power. So three there and put a two there. Okay. And then we've got a constant of integration. Finally, I'm just going to clean that last term up. So we'll just copy the first term back in again. And for this last term, I've got minus 4 over 9, minus 4 ninths, x to the power 3 over 2. And then plus that constant of integration. Okay, so hope that's given you an idea then on that question.